by Juan Flores Yarael Big Baby Miller 1901, 17 Cos could put himself in position for a world title fight against IBF WBA heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua if he wins his co-feature bout against Marius Vark 332, 17 Cos this Saturday night on HBO. The Miller-Watch fight is taking place as part of the headliner fight between former WBA middleweight champion Danny Jacobs and Luis Arias at the Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York. Miller cannot afford to mess up against Marius Vark on Saturday if he wants the Joshua fight. Vark, 67, can punch, and he might surprise a lot of people if lands one of his big shots on the chin of Miller to co him. The start time for the Jacobs vs. Arias card is at 10.00 p.m. ETPT. Miller says HES signed with Eddie Hearn in a co-promotional deal. Hearn likely will keep Miller on his matchroom sports promotional team long enough to match him against Joshua and possibly Dillian White and Derek Chisora. It might be a risk for Hearn to match Miller against White though, because he'd probably beat him. White doesn't possess much in the way of power, and his stamina is poor. Miller would force White to fight harder than he can handle. Millowatch is not a title eliminator, but it doesn't matter. Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn needs an American heavyweight with charisma for Joshua to fight in 2018 to help build a unification fight against WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder. In theory, that would be the idea of Joshua being matched against the 300-pound Miller in early 2018 instead of Wilder. But you can argue that Hearn is thinking of anyone but Wilder right now, as HES a big risk for Joshua, who is pumping out huge money with each fight in the UK. Hearn and his matchroom sport promotional company is doing quite well now that they have Joshua at full steam, making tremendous amounts of money beating up on the overmatched contenders in the top 15. Hearn really lucked out in signing the 2012 Olympic gold medalist Joshua after he turned pro in 2013. Reed Hearn says Dimitri Bivol might be best at 175 now we require as many contenders as possible, Hearn said to ESPN.com. Yarel Miller is making a lot of noise right now, and we look for potential opponents for Anthony Joshua, particularly in the United States, and Yarel Miller is at the top of the list. Miller is a better talker than he is a fighter. He was almost knocked out in his last fight by Gerald Washington after taking 10 consecutive headshots in the fifth round from the 66 heavyweight. Miller was lucky the fight didnt take place with the same referee that worked the Joshua vs. Carlos Stackham fight because the fight would have been stopped. Miller was getting hammered by Washington in the fifth. Obviously, Hearn has scouted Miller well, and likely deemed him as harmless to Joshua. You never know though, Joshua is looking worse with every fight, and it's becoming increasingly apparent that Help's not going to last much longer as champion before he finally gets beaten. Hearn has been crowing about how Joshua was involved in a huge legacy-building fight with Vladimir Klitschko in his 19th pro fight. What Hearn ISNT saying is the huge money that Joshua brings in for each fight is the sole reason why he got the 41-year-old Vladimir to fight him at this late stage in his career. Even then, Vladimir almost beat Joshua. Miller might just have enough to beat Joshua. If he gets him exhausted like he was against Vladimir and Carlos Stackham. I know Anthony rates Yarel highly and he'd be out for a fight with Yarel Miller, said Hearn. He'd be one of the perfect guys to come over and take on in the States. There is no reason why an Anthony Joshua Jarrell Miller fight should NT happen. But first he has a very tough fight to get through, said Hearn. Hearn putting Joshua in against Miller would be his strategy of trying to turn AJ into a star in the States on the cheap by matching him against a flawed heavyweight. Miller would do the hard work of attracting interest in the Joshua fight by trash-talking him constantly, and giving countless interviews with the boxing media. Miller would be the villain, while Joshua would play the good guy role. It's so predictable that it's not even funny. Without entire sports world getting interested in the Joshua Miller fight, it'll likely only be seen by a small handful of hardcore boxing fans in the US that tune in to watch the fight on Showtime. Of course, Joshua vs. Miller would play out big in the UK, where Joshua is a huge star. Read Deontay Wilder needs to impress against Bermain Sivany putting Joshua in with Miller might get a lot of hardcore boxing fans excited about an eventual Joshua vs. Wilder fight, but it's not going to do much with the casual fans.
Joshua fighting Miller on Showtime Boxing in the States I SNT going to create enough interest to get the casual fans on board, because they're not going to hear about the Joshua Miller fight. It takes a lot of money to market a fight to reach the casual fans, and Joshua vs. Miller would be on regular Showtime. It's not going to be a big fight. For Joshua to be built up into a big name in the US, HES got to fight more than just one time in the States, and HES got to fight better guys than Miller. The 29-year-old Miller is a decent heavyweight, but HES almost 300 pounds, and HES beaten absolutely no one of note. It took Miller a lot of punches to wear Gerald Washington down in the fight on July 29th. Deontay Wilder stopped Washington in five rounds, and he only attacked him hard in the fifth. Before round five, Wilder was just jabbing and boxing Washington. The difference in punching power between Miller and Wilder is monumental. Miller needs guys that he can stand in front of at close range and hit for a number of rounds before he can wear them down. I don't think HES going to be able to do that against Joshua. It's not realistic. I don't know what's next to who's net at his point, but right now my main focus is on knocking Vark out, whooping his behind and then well take it from there, said Miller to ESPN.com.